All this indicator does is win, win, win. But not no matter what. You'll see. VP here bringing you the hottest, most modern, relevant references on the internet here for the Indicator Profile Series. I think this is probably the most modern reference I have dropped since we've been doing this. And what's that song, like 10 years old? Uh, but anyway, a very interesting one this week. This this gets me excited because uh, I have a lot of indicators in my collection that are they're just flat out weird. Um, but they don't really test that well, so I don't think we're going to show them here. But uh, this is probably the closest thing to a weird one, in my opinion. And uh, not by the way it looks, but by the way it performs. So stick around for that. Uh, but before we dive into it, just know, if you're new, uh, this is what we do here. We profile indicators. This is the premier indicator channel on YouTube. But you might not understand what we're talking about, but that's okay. Go to nonsenseforex.com, read that first page. Watch that first video and you will be caught up with us eventually. It's worth it. For the rest of us, though, let's get into the specs. Now, the year here is 1991. Uh, this is about five years prior to the 1996 and on threshold we like to see here at the Indicator Profile Series. Uh, but it'll, it'll all make sense in a moment. Uh, the type is going to be a confirmation indicator. It is a zero cross. Uh, it is shown to you in histogram form, which is nice from the aspect of being easy to read. Um, but at its core, it's a zero cross. And because of that, I don't recommend it as an exit. It is a variation of the MACD. And the MACD itself has aspects that you can use as an exit indicator, but just not in this particular form. Now, but let's take a look at it. A uh, little dark on the colors, but pretty easy to read. And you see what they're doing here. Anytime it changes from red to blue, that's going to be a long signal. Anytime it changes from blue to red, that's a short. That's a, there's a better one here. You get the idea. There's very little explanation needed here. It's a, it's a very easy color change, very easy to read, and, and very simple, actually. Um, when you go to the blog, you'll see just how few settings you even need to tweak on this thing, uh, which can be a very good thing when you're testing. And you are certainly going to need to test this one out on your own. You'll see in a moment. So uh, the fact that this is more on the simple side is a net positive, I think. Uh, but before we get into those test results, please know, like I said, you just have to test yourself. That's the only way to really know if this is gonna work in your system or not. Uh, now also, in the description of this video, you will be getting a link to my automation blog that shows you how to test this yourself on the MT4 Strategy Tester. The blog, as always, showing you the settings, the history, you know, the, the tweaks that we don't show you here. You know, anything you're going to need to know, you, you can find there. You're going to see Dan Stone's second email address if you have a submission for him in terms of indicators that you want to see here profiled. And if you want to see just how he arrived at some of these results he gets, then, you know, send him an email. He'll show you. And there's always a place where you can go download all of these yourself. But let's hop to it. We will start out with the euro dollar. And your eyes are not deceiving you. This thing went 10 for 10. And after it went 10 for 10, it only gave you a 5%, a little over 5% ROI. Like, how is that even possible? Um, I had to have Dan show me, and he showed me. It's real. And then even down here at the 4-hour, 80%, 40 trades, what's that? 32 out of 40? I mean, that's ridiculous. Especially for Forex. We know how tough it is to get a good win-loss ratio in Forex trading. And this thing is batting 1,000 here and batting 800 here. Bananas. And now, I don't even care that the ROI is low here. Do you think you could do something with an indicator that gave you a win every time or almost every time? Now, past performance is not indicative of future results. We know that. But what other indicator have we profiled here that's come even close to this? Like, regardless of ROI, do you think you could do some real damage with something that hits this often? I think there is absolutely an opportunity here. And I will not explain further. But let's go on to gold. Now, 100% again, but less impressive because there's only two trades, <laughs> only four trades. Now, maybe you're not a gold trader. Maybe you just want to take a very chill approach or possibly an investor's approach to gold. 
I don't know, might something that hits at this well of a clip be very helpful to a gold investor? As a gold investor myself, I would say absolutely. I think if you're looking at the ROI on the euro dollar, and if you're only looking at the total trades on gold, I think you have a very limited imagination. There are opportunities here. Provided this is all correct. And from what Dan has shown me, it is. Let's go over to the S&P to see if things get any less ridiculous. No, they don't. Eight trades, all of them winners. Redonkulous. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, Dan showed me the results and I still don't believe it. But you can go to the blog, look at those tweaks, and then run it yourself. You're probably going to see the same thing or something very similar. And now let's finish it off with Bitcoin. Oh, finally, something normal <laughs> from Bitcoin, of all places. But very nice. Um, you know, lower amount of trades, which I'm generally a fan of, and, uh, and really nice ROI on the, on the daily and the four hour. Uh, but just bizarre across the board for such a simplistic, older indicator. To have such an abnormal win-loss ratio like that, but, just, but then not have the ROI go along with it. Like everything in my body is saying, this is not right. But that's why profiling these things is so awesome. Because you get crazy results sometimes, and there's always a learning experience attached to it. And 12 years in, even I'm learning about these indicators uh, that I'm almost positive I threw away back in the day. So please take these seriously and put in the work. And when you put in the work, put your system together. And if you can do that, you will have an advantage in every tradable market on earth. Most of them, at least. Trust me, it's worth it. Now, the only thing you may not have is your trading psychology down, but we got you covered with the Trading Psychology Podcast every Monday, a blog every Thursday, and then our investment podcast every Saturday. Subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss anything. We'll see you soon, traders. Go get it.